Welcome back to another episode of Gears of War 3 101. I'm your host Gold Glove, and today we are going to be talking about using the shotgun in Gears of War. So today we're going to be covering wall bouncing, how to do it, when to do it, and when it comes in handy in certain situations. We're also going to cover the Nasher shotgun and the Sawed Off shotgun, which is a brand new shotgun that has been introduced to the Gears of War series. We're also going to figure out which one caters to your playstyle and which one you should choose to be most successful in Gears of War. And last but certainly not least, we need to cover how to use the shotgun in Gears of War and how you can start getting those nasty quad kills. As most of you know, strafing is one of the most important things in any type of shooter. But in Gears of War, there's a little bit different of a technique when it comes to evading bullets and trying to get the upper hand on your enemy during a shotgun battle, and that is called wall bouncing. Wall bouncing is something that has never been heard of in any other game besides Gears of War. Wall bouncing is when you're coming on and off cover trying to evade an enemy's bullets, weapon, fire, whatever it may be, you're trying to evade this enemy. When you add wall bouncing in with a strafe, you make for a very, very difficult target. So I'm going to be teaching you guys how to wall bounce, when to wall bounce, and how it comes in handy. Wall bouncing is done by pressing A and pushing the analog stick towards the cover that you want to take. So when you do this, you're sticking your character onto this wall. And what wall bouncing is, is coming off that cover as quickly as you can. So what you do is you hold A and press towards the cover that you want to go to, and then you pull away with the analog stick, and it will pull your character off the wall right as you touch it. That way, you're maneuvering throughout the map, you're able to bounce off cover, and you're a very difficult target to hit. Now, wait up, wait up, hold the phone. Don't go out there and just wall bounce your little heart out. Wall bouncing needs to be mixed with strafe very well to be a very successful wall bounce. And what you need to do is you need to be very inconsistent, and I know that sounds kind of odd. But when you're wall bouncing, you need to trick your opponent. You don't want to be very predictable in where you're wall bouncing. When you're playing against a very uh, veteranized uh, Gears of War player, their first impressions when they see an enemy, their first thought is, where is that guy going to go? Where is he going to wall bounce? How am I going to be able to have the upper hand on him? So when you're in a shotgun battle and both teammate or both players are wall bouncing, you need to be inconsistent. You need to change up your routes. You need to wall bounce into different areas. You need to mix a little bit of strafe in there. You need to be a very unpredictable player. You need to be able to trick your opponent and they think you're going one way and you go the other way for an easy body. Now as much as wall bouncing comes in handy against one opponent, just imagine how much easier it is to fight off multiple enemies. Now when I use wall bouncing, I always try to give myself the advantage even over the amount of enemies that I am facing. So when it's a 3v1 situation, I will never try to go into it just strafing side to side. It's very difficult, especially in Gears of War 3 with the uh, newly added sawed off and the retro lancer. So what I would say is if you are down in numbers and you are trying to go up against multiple enemies, wall bouncing is probably your best bet. Now we need to discuss the differences between the Nasher shotgun and the Sawed Off shotgun, and which one will cater to your playstyle the best. Now choosing a shotgun in Gears of War 3 is very, very important. When it comes to the Nasher, you're going to have further range, less damage, but better accuracy. It's a very traditional like shotgun. You're gonna have 16 shells remaining after the eight are preloaded. So you're gonna constantly be able to have eight shots loaded into the shotgun at once. Uh, and it's very, very good against multiple enemies. The sawed off shotgun is completely different. It's more for the run and gun type player who likes to get really close and in the face of their enemies. It comes with only four buck shots and the long reload times make it kind of a headache in a uh, multiple enemy situation. So when it comes to the sawed off, try to stick to your 1v1s. Uh, you might be able to get lucky with some collaterals. I've seen some three-way kills uh, every once in a while. The sawed off has very, very little range. It has a very wide spread, but it is a monster from close range and will destroy anything in its path. So the next time you're trying to make a decision on what shotgun to use, think about your playstyle. If you feel like sitting back from a distance, maybe using your shotgun from a range, be sure to pick the Nasher. But if you want to get in the face of the other enemies and you want to just cause some havoc from up close, be sure to pick up the Sawed Off. Now getting familiar with a specific shotgun is very important. With the Nasher, you can probably down someone with two shots from close to medium range. But with the Sawed Off is completely different. You have to be within a certain point to even register on them. Like I said, the spread is insane and the range is very short. 
So make sure that you're in close distance when using a sawed off and you will get a one shot down or a one shot bot. Final suggestion is just to get familiar with the shotguns themselves. Play with the Nasher a little bit, get familiar with the damage, get familiar with the range, and get familiar with the accuracy. Get it down so that you know when someone should be dead and when they shouldn't be. Same thing goes with the sawed off. Make sure that you know the exact range you need to be in to be able to get that one hit kill. My fellow Gears players, go out there and practice the tips that I just gave you and you will become a much better player. Be sure to leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys thought about this episode. Be sure to like the video because likes very much help my channel. And if you want to subscribe for more future videos, I would greatly appreciate it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Gold Glove. You guys have been my awesome viewers. And I will talk to you guys later. Take it easy.